Hello everyone, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to create a slide effect, and it's going to be a synthetic slide effect. So you didn't do the slide with the slider, we're doing it actually in Adobe Premiere Pro. And there is a way to do it, let's get right into it. First off, we're just going to load up some footage here. Uh, oops, I've got some just generic stock footage that I downloaded off pexels.com, so just if you want to work along with me, just download and put in anything here. Drop it into your project, we're going to drop it into the timeline, just like that. Boom. Now, I'll quickly show you what the footage is. I'll just hit spacebar. And it's basically just like you can see, it's a waterfall. But there is no motion, no movement in this shot. We want to make a slide. So we want to go from, let's say, left to right. Uh, that's the standard slide. So um, let's just trim this to a smaller, uh, let's trim it like 10 seconds or something like that, whatever. Um, and then here's how you do it, guys. What you want to do is you want to go to this little button here where it says fit. You actually want to reduce this. So instead of going to fit, let's go to 50% and I'll show you why. Nope, pardon me, 25%. Oops. Great. Now there's some space outside of the shot. Now double click on the shot and you're going to see the bounding box show up. This is good because what we want to do and what we have to do is we actually have to sort of zoom in, sort of just push a zoom in so that we can actually create some space to zoom, uh, space to um, uh, do a slide. So if we do a slide like this, and I'll just do it real quickly here just to show you what it looks like, uh, you want to go to your effects or your effect controls. Uh, let's see, where the heck am I? Net, 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 net. Source, sorry, hold on, guys. Uh, Got to click on here. There we go effect controls if you don't have that open go to window drop it down make sure the check mark is by effects and effect controls then to make a slide you can do it with with it without having expanded the video but this is what happens and I'll just show you we move it down or let's say we move it to the right or left it would work but you see here you get black bars and we don't want that nobody likes black bars in their video it's just it's just bad so um, let's go ahead and just undo that, Command or Control Z, and let's do it the right way. So what we'll do is we'll expand this out. So we're going to zoom it in by double clicking and making this larger. And then you're going to see a little bit less here, but we can go ahead and create some uh, sliding. So you'll see here some space on the left, some space on the right. For, for giggles and for just for, for uh, demonstration, I'll move this to the left. So we've got this part of the shot. And now I'm going to go ahead and create the slide synthetically. Click on that. Click on position. Now you're going to want to keyframe this. So you want to click the toggle animation here. In this, in this one, we're going to start at zero seconds. And then let's say at, I don't know, like five seconds, we'll have it slide across. So at zero seconds position, it's toggled. Now at five seconds, I'll move the playhead forward to around five seconds. Let's see where we are here. Yeah, close enough. Okay, let's go back one, just to step back one frame. So it's exactly five seconds. And now, double click, and we're going to move it. Now, if you want it to go straight across, hold the shift key down, and then just take it to the right. And let's go about this far. So now you'll see here the motion over the five seconds is going to travel this distance, and it is a slide. So I'll go back to the beginning. I'm going to hit space bar. Let's fit this just so you can see it a little better. And now watch the slide effect. There she goes, guys. That is a synthetic slide over five seconds. That's how you do it inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope this tutorial helped. I'll be back more with some more stuff soon. Take care. Bye-bye.